As parents struggle with what to do about school this fall, they face the ultimate question of how to keep their family safe while also giving their child the opportunity to learn. Teachers are also facing the same dilemma right now. And for some, going back to the traditional classroom is just not an option. So instead, they are getting creative. 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean joins us live this morning to show us how one mom and a teacher are creating a unique learning opportunity for a small group of kids. Jenny. Yeah, Caitlin, we've all seen it. Just a quick scroll through social media and you see the struggle parents and teachers are having. But one particular post caught my eye. The mom of a Hillsborough County first grader is teaming up with her sister-in-law, a certified teacher, to offer these small in-home classroom, if you will. It's like a support group for the kids and it's something unique and it's giving them another option. Daxton is an active five-year-old who would normally be gearing up for heading back to school in person, but that's not the case this year. For a number of reasons, his mom has chosen e-learning. First grade should be joyful and it should be fun and it should be interactive. And I was really uh, just upset about him having to sit in front of a computer again and go through modules and be accountable to be on these Zoom calls where he doesn't necessarily, you know, engage like he should. Her sister-in-law, Renee, is a certified Florida teacher who's choosing not to teach this year. So they came up with the idea to open up her home to a small group of kids, maybe four to six total, to get that hands-on learning and socialization the kids need. My intention is to um, not completely you know, do their whole academics, but to support their uh, virtual learning. Here's what they envision. Two to three hours each morning with group reading time, writing, science and math, arts and crafts, and playtime and snack time, which would give Renee the chance to work with each child one on one for a few minutes. It's just just hard to imagine. It's hard to believe this is this is where we are. And I thought then we just lying by the seat of our pants. <laughs> You know, Renee says that safety will be a major priority with lots of hand washing and hand sanitizing, but the key here is they are keeping the group very small. Now, they're just set up for this very small group. She is going to charge a fee to the parents, but she hasn't decided exactly what yet, but they wanted to put this story out there to give other parents ideas, and it is something that's catching on. It's called Learning Pods, and you can find all kinds of Facebook groups across the country, and it is something that possibly if you are looking for another option as a parent or a teacher that you could start up in your own neighborhood or with your own friends.